I've done some classic Who run throughs for almost every day this week. Well, I'm saying almost because I don't know because I'm recording this one before Saturday, so maybe I have done one for every day. So I decided I should do something else for the official day that I put these ones up. And uh, well, I got this box from BBC, which is a part of the Doctor Who collection. The thing is now that I have recently uh, bought the last episodes that I'm missing of the classic series. So right now all I'm missing actually on DVD is series 8 of the new series and the Sarah Jane Adventures plus Torchwood. Then I have everything that Doctor Who has available on DVD. So let's get this little box open then from BBC and see which stories are in this one. Well, I should know I bought them. It was because uh, BBC had, up until the last day of last month, August, they had, so you can buy three Classic Who DVDs for the price of just £15, which is a pretty nice price, so I decided that you would acquire as many as possible of them. So, let's see here. Cut this one open. There we go. And the other side. It's a pretty huge one. I think it's about, I don't know, like, I think I bought, well, I can count how many I bought here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 volumes. Oh, and here we have a lane about the Doctor Who festival, which I wanted to go to, but it's way too expensive. Yeah. And here we have some, I think it's the receipts, if I'm right. Yeah. Well, let's go through everyone, every single DVD I bought. So, we can start with the fifth Doctor, and here we have Frontios. And actually, this one I think is the only one I was currently missing from season 21, actually. I think this one was the only one I had left for season 21, along with the sixth Doctor story. There we have it, The Twin Dilemma. So, then I have season 21 complete. Season 22, as you know, is Trial of Time Blow. No. That's season 23. Season 22 consisted of other episodes, so I'll just take up every single Sixth Doctor volume here and show them to you. We have Vengeance of Varus, the special edition. We have Revelation of the Daleks. We have Attack of the Cybermen. We have The Hated Story, but I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm not gonna give an opinion. Time Lash. And the Mark of the Rani. So, then we have the Seventh Doctor. And in here we have quite a lot of them. The Curse of Fenric I got early today, but I bought that one second hand instead of new because it was cheaper. So I decided to buy every one, every DVD I bought at the end I was second hand if it wasn't cheaper to buy. 3, 4, 15 pounds. So, let's see what we got here. Do we have... Yeah, there we have the first story. Time and the Rani. And uh, then we'll just take in a... Uh, sort of just... Whatever order they happen to come in. So we have Ghost Light. I think that was from the last season. We have Paradise Towers. We have this one I really liked actually, Greatest Show in the Galaxy, it's one of my favorite episodes with the Seventh Doctor. Then we have Battlefield, we have Delta and the Bannerman, Remembrance of the Daleks, the Special Edition, and lastly, Survival, the Final Adventure. So, looking at this, I think the only ones I'm missing at the moment, which hasn't arrived yet, I wanted to lean back a bit, is 
the uh, box called Ace Adventures, which has, let's see if I can remember this, okay, I just remember that Dragonfire is in that one, I don't remember the second story that is in that one right now, from the top of my head, and as well as, uh, let's see, the Five Doctors, actually, because uh, the Five Doctors and Ace Adventures were the t last two ones that I bought second hand. And when I have them, I have every single DVD released. Wow. I actually started, I bought my first William Hartnell Adventures back in December or the end of November, I think, of 2013. So that's about, yeah, approximately one year and uh, three quarters of a year since I started this collection. So it isn't officially complete since I don't have the, the last two DVDs missing, which is Ace Adventures and The Five Doctors. But when those two arrive, which will be sometime this week, I will have every single release. Which means I can finish the Doctor Who DVD run through and also a long marathon which I've been having now getting through all of them so I can tell you about them from the top of my head instead of guessing what the story is. Yeah, so... Well, right now I'm on new beginnings on the story Castro Valva. But when you watch this, I am hopefully not on Castro Valva anymore. And I'm about, let's see, it's for, let's see, Thursday. I'm probably, I'm hopefully on the first story of season 21 by the time you watch this. And if I'm not, then I'm probably just at the end of season 19 or at the beginning of the 20th season. So, that's it for today. Now I'm gonna watch some Doctor Who. Also, it's just two weeks left until the, uh, the beginning of the new series of Doctor Who. So uh, that's why, as I probably mentioned in the uh, episode before, that's why I'm uploading these ones every single day, because I wanna finish the classic Who part, at least, before series 9 starts, because then I'm gonna be focused on, well, besides school, of course, or I don't go to school, I go to university, but, uh, well, I'm gonna try to focus on just reviewing the episodes of the new series. And it's gonna be non-spoiler free, which means it's spoilers in it. Uh, basically, don't watch my reviews of them in case you don't want to know what happened in the episodes. And along with... Th in those reviews I will give my opinion, which might not be the same as your opinion. Yeah. Well... What was I gonna do now? I was about to write Castro Alba. Adios.